On the point that hardware revolutions precede software revolutions, you know, I really strongly believe this. I think it's almost a definitional point. You know, if you want to have the app store, which enabled creating Uber and a bunch of these big companies, you have to have the iPhone. To have the iPhone, you have to have Qualcomm, you have to have Broadcom, you have to have 20 years of building out networks and building out comms technology. Almost all of that was on the hardware level. If you want to have deep learning, you need to have the GPU, that's 20 years of progress. If you want to have cloud computing, you have to have very cheap commodity. Kind of the whole point of what is a cloud, it's basically the idea that you can put a bunch of cheap commodity hardware in one place and then put distributed systems. You basically use like algorithms on top of this commodity hardware to handle failure, handle things breaking in the hardware in a fault tolerant way, which gives you a giant cost advantage over hosting your own hardware. And and basically, we had to have 20 plus years of memory and CPUs, et cetera, getting cheaper to do that.